in the midst of the ancient stone circle or should I say stone formation of Avebury which dates all the way back to the Neolithic period which is approximately 2850 years old BC that is BC just think and marvel at the age of these ginormous boulders we don't know how were they transported and we're not really sure why either This always amazed me. Look at the sheer size of these boulders. I'm stood right next to one of them and it really baffles me as to how our great ancestors have managed to transport them. Just look at the size and the sheer scale of this stone. The stones were transported from the local quarry. However, weighing up to 40 tons, it would be a tall order to transport, especially back in those times. Wiltshire is not overly populated county, and I can't imagine it being heavily populated at the time of the construction of this monument. Originally, there were around 100 stones forming the Avebury Stone Circle. When you walk towards the main circle, there is definitely something here. You really can't put a precise definition to this feeling, but it felt like time has no significance here. And sometimes you see sheep grazing in the heart of the main stone circle. Well, sheep certainly don't mind the overwhelming presence of these stones. From those very steps, when we reached the top, the whole of the circle could be seen. Behind me you see the ancient stone circle. We still don't know what purpose did it serve, we still don't know how these massive boulders were transported to this place, and what, but what we do know is that it stands tall for thousands of years. Inside the circle there is a special stone. It is called the Devil's Chair, probably because it is possible to sit on the side of the stone. Walking next to those stones is an experience in itself, in the very similar manner, akin to the concert of the most subtle music, the atmospheric presence is passed on to you here. This is the Chapel of Avebury. It was formed in 1670, but after being around those stones, ancient architecture 
feels somewhat modern. The back of this chapel has a tiny but beautiful garden which overlooks the mysterious circle. Those trees grow on the edge of the circle, their roots are deeply intertwined and many people make wishes here. The energy of this particular spot is deeply, deeply welcoming. This is Silbury Hill. It only takes about 20 minutes or half an hour to walk from Avebury to see it. It is the place of great energy. It is the tallest prehistoric man-made mound in Europe. It stands almost 40 meters tall and it is similar in size to smaller pyramids of Giza necropolis in Egypt. Seeing breathtaking sacred hill on the sunset is a very moving experience. Thank you very much for joining me on this video today. If you liked it, please like, share and subscribe to my channel to see more pieces like this. And until next week, bye bye.